willing to get hit by that overhead splat just so you can get out of the situation. But going into this match now, it looks like Ricky is hovering over. Yeah, he has gone for Kenshi. Um, I was talking to him yesterday. He did say, I think I'm going to go with Kenshi today. Um, definitely because... Um, I, I imagine, I think balance would do quite a good job against Inferno because you actually punish full screen uh, Inferno stuff. Low minion is a punish anywhere on screen, for one. Um, and then meterless, balanced Kenshi can do quite a lot of damage and send full screen. So if Ricky can just get those punishes on deck, he's in a good situation. Let's see what he can do. Oh wow, starts off brave with a meter burn, another rising karma. I guess the first hit and the full screen, which he really needs. And here we go. I mean, here comes the. Uh, oh, he gets tagged. He gets tagged, no doubt. He tried to do a teleflurry there, did not come out, and he gets tagged by the low minion. But I mean, that's actually risky business. Uh, Mitsuone still. Oh, back to me to low minion. Not a true mix up, but caught pressing buttons anyway. There's the block, uh, gets hit by the overhead option. Obviously, the block below. I mean, really, getting hit by the overhead isn't so much of a big deal when you've got the health to spare, but the low minion is a big problem. Good bait on the uh, rising karma by Mitsu Owens, but moves way too early and gets hit by the second ever anyway. That'd be a punish. Oh, he doesn't get the punish. Oh, you can definitely tell Ricky's getting some nerves here. He's not getting the punishes that he needs. Uh, he's making a lot of impact as well, just getting standing normals instead of actual specials. We're all punishing these situations. Hard stuff, Mitsu Owens is showing disrespect off. He's just trying to buffer minions to bait um, Rising Karma. Well, the thing is, the reason you pick balance in this matchup is so that you can get the full screen punishes. And Ricky is trying to get the punishes, and he's not getting them. Um, I actually really feel like if Ricky can just establish his game, uh, he's so slow on that punish, unfortunately. Punish it. And that's two for two. And there's the missed input as well. Ricky's Rick showing a lot of nerves right now. Absolutely. Well, the thing is, you can tell what he's trying to do. And yes. it's, it works. I mean, as I just mentioned, like, balanced will check Inferno Scorpion. He cannot sit full screen and do minions when playing correctly. Because you can see, he's getting checked by all of this before the minion can do anything. But again, another Imperator. Like, every time Ricky gets a standing normal instead of a special, he eats a full minion for it. That's the worst possible scenario. Oh, it's one of the smart cancel teleport just to get in. Meat Burn, Rising Karma, really good read, but opts not to go for a combo, goes to unbreakable damage. But I think I quite like that. I mean, Ricky just wanting to send it full screen. And he goes to down two, acknowledges that he's cancelled it. Wow, okay. Mitsuone's going for the X-ray. Gets tagged by the overhead, though. Here comes Mitsuone's. Mitsuone's oh, drops, drops it. Wow, Mitsuone's showing a really um, uncharacteristic combo drop, but Ricky as well. No full confirm. Oh, down one punish. Ricky, two for two. Two point blank punishes that could have been the round. And he punishes the down one both times. Ah, oh, and he gets tagged by the low. Wow. Okay, so let's talk about what happened right at the end there. Both times, Ricky had had the round. Mitsu Wones gave himself to Ricky on a plate. Twice. It does not get Twice. easier than that. It does not get easier than that. I mean, that that very much, that was Ricky's round through and through, twice at the end of the game. But he punishes it with down one, which, you know, we, we mentioned just now that, and we actually saw that demonstrate that balanced Kenji versus Inferno, Inferno Scorpion. Scorpion and Inferno can't do those full screen shenanigans. Uh, you can tell that Mitsuones was trying to, um, but when balanced Kenji is played correctly, you can, for example, you know, you can, you can block an overhead minion or a low minion, and the low minion will punish. With, you can punish low minion with the uh, teleflurry, and if he does a back-to-back -back overhead, you'll punish him before he even comes out. So you can actually check Inferno Scorpion from far away, and in these situations here, oh, we didn't have it up here, but um, the um, in these situations where Scorpion is right up close, that was a free punish. That was the game. Look at the amount of health that Mitsuwins had left. No breaker. That was literally the game. But that one mistake has cost Ricky the match. But the thing is, Mitsuwins is going to go into game two knowing that now. He's going to go into okay, right. Well, not one of my teleports was punished with a full combo, so. I'm just going to do him. But we saw, there's no reason not to. We saw this a lot last week, um, where we saw Mitsuones was basically not being punished by most people. I mean, we saw Mitsuones doing a lot of unsafe stuff, and the punishes weren't there. If you let a player like Mitsuones get away without being punished, he's going to just walk all over you because he's going to overwhelm you with these crazy mix-ups, these crazy hard reads, and he's going to punish you. He's going to punish you. And, it, it, and when, when unpunished, it is risk-free. It becomes completely risk-free when unpunished. Ricky getting the all-important first hit, though. Back-to-back -back teleflurry, even on hit, we'll check in there. Oh, he's really slow on these punishes. You can tell Ricky is actually trying to punish this, but he is very slow on the uptake. Oh, he's going to that low minion again. I mean, he's going to do this. Mitsu Owens has been doing this for just over a month and a half now. Oh, I think Ricky just needs to block those minions and start punishing with teleflurry. He needs to just accept that he needs to block first and then teleflurry. Oh, good. Uh, meet you burn spin. Make it safe. Really good counter poke, but again, Ricky drops the combo. Oh, that could be it, but goes into the reflect. Must be an impact error by that Ricky. That definitely an attempt to do back 3-1 into uh, uppercut, but he does a, sorry, back 3-2. And, does and another slow. combo drop. I don't think we've seen Ricky complete a combo yet. He is playing with some serious nerves right now, and he's going to get attacked by... Still manages to attack Mitsu Owens with a back hit of the uh, Rising Karma, though. Mitsu Owens caught in the corner. Will he wake up or will he not? He has the meter, and of course he will, but Ricky manages to get the uh, whiff punish. That was a messy round, but I mean, I think Ricky's going to take that one. Um, we didn't see many punishes, but you know, Mitsuone's getting caught by the uh, meter burn upcut. Cancel it again. Oh, very interesting. Oh, makes the rising karma, but doesn't punish it. 
Wake up, Rising Karma. No punish. Uh, sorry, no full combo on that. Oh, he gets tagged by Lopinion again. There really is no reason to get hit by that. Actually, a full punish. Neutral jump as a punish. That is not a punish at all. You need to let you need to let a player like Mitsuwins know that you're going to punish him for every mistake. This will no doubt go into a restand. Will Mitsuwins go for the throw? Which way it does? Yes, he does. That's the Mitsuwins special right there. I do not know why Ricky is not punishing anything. But he's getting, he's, he, like, there's so many in instances here, especially when you have something in the corner as a punish. I mean, Kenshi and Balance get some big meterless damage in the corner. You're looking at high 30%. Oh, no, you're looking at 40%. You know what I mean? You're looking at l l at least 40, no bar. Cancel it again. Lovely uppercut, acknowledging that he's always, oh, and he gets a wake up meter band teleport anyway. But, you know, he's acknowledging that Mitsuhoji is always um, cancelling that teleport. Punish. Oh, Mate, Mate on the uptake again, but Mickey, he might just get something to work right now. He's got a bar in a bit. Oh, goes to the overhead, Mickey on block. Mia by Rising Karma. And again, no full combo. Heck, he couldn't break. He didn't have the stamina, but Ricky opts to go in for the uh, teleport anyway. That's not a thing. <laughs> That's not a thing. You have to get the punishes on deck. No, a full screen low minion into Mia Burn teleport. Kenshi can't let him do it. It is a le legitimate punish. Kenshi gets a free punish when timed correctly. There's a jump kick teleport. There's a confirm by Mitsu Wones. Mitsu Wones looking like he's really commanding this set right now. In uh, true Mitsuwon's fashion, but it's it's hard it's hard to it's hard to call cool because Ricky is getting so many chances where he Mitsuwon's is giving him free damage. He's doing full screen low minions, back to back overhead minions. They do not work versus Balance Kenshi. Balance Kenshi can punish those guaranteed. I mean stuff there, full screen low. We saw Mitsuwon's do that a lot where he does low minion on block into meter band teleport because he acknowledges he's going to try and run in press a button, and then when you do that, that's when you get chewed up by the meter band teleport. That is not a thing well, versus Kenshi because it, of the teleferry punish. Well, it might seem like very negative observation, you know, and, and obviously the last thing we want to do is come across like you know we're being disrespect floor, you know, we're not giving these guys the credit they deserve. With that said, we are into week six right now. There is this week and there are two, two, two more opportunities to make it to that top four. If you enter these tournaments, it's because you want that opportunity. You want to be one of those players. If you're not punishing Scorpion when he is giving you the punishes, that is just not going to be, you're not going to be able to really bring that to the table if at this point in the tournament, when Mitsu Owens is one of those current qualifiers, he's second place right now. He's if, doing you, very, if you want to be able to himself. take down Mitsu Owens, you have to punish him. If you don't, he will beat you, he will run a train through you in the set, and he will advance and he'll get more points, and then Mitsu Owens is going to guarantee his space there. And he's playing well. Like, you know, he has done this week in, uh, week, in week out. Like, he is earning this position in the top well, four. Well, right the now. thing is, if Mitsu Owens has a really good placement this week, then he's almost a shoe in to be one of the entrants. Um, oh, no real punish, gets a sweep. I mean, that's good damage. Point blank. That's Again, no Down punish. one Rising Karma, not a combo. Ricky, actually, Ricky has not punished a single move uh, with any with any strings yet. It's been a down one every single time. Uh, I mean, you can definitely tell this is his first time in top 16. There's always the scope for him to be playing very nervously. Um, but unfortunately, things like this where it's not really a true mix-up. I mean, there's no reason to be blocking high uh, when you get hit by 2-1. And he gets hit by a throw. Here comes Mitsu Owens, keeping him in the corner. I mean, if you put Kenshi in the corner as well, match point Mitsu Owens. Putting Kenshi in the corner, he has no room to play his game. No room at all. But he has got two bars with the rise of Kamas. Mitsu Wones is beginning to bait them really effectively. Oh, he's getting tagged by back to back. Just like that, Mitsu Wones, really good bait on the wake up. Oh, once again, he counter pokes so many times with that teleport, and it works so many times for him. His, his reads on that very strong. But this, this is the Mitsu Wones we all know right now. Like, just the raw reads, the like really good execution. Opts to go for the full combo rather than the vortex. I guess at this point, it doesn't really matter. We finally get a combo, Ricky. Ah, oh, that does not get the full convert. Oh, it does he commits into back three. That can be punished. He opts to jump instead of going for the punish. Oh, and he drops the combo once again and gets hit by Meatburn Teleport. And that's a swift 3-0 to Mitsu Owens. I mean, Ricky did look like he was really beginning to adapt right at the end of that last match, but it was just all too little too late at that point. Well, the thing is, I think the another issue was that um, the two punishes were actually dropped as well. Um, I mean, we, we mentioned Kenshi's uh, free damage in the corner, meterless. I mean, he he's looking at at least 40% meterless in the corner. Uh, you can do things like, you know, back 3-2 into up uh, Rising Karma.